G'day guys and girls, welcome back to Mold's Logs. Been a little while between videos just because I haven't been bothered slash really felt like doing it. So, got a new camera, so give me a little while to figure out how to use it properly and hopefully that improves the overall quality of my videos. So yeah, it's been pretty busy, like the Hilux literally hasn't moved since it got dropped off from the tow truck and that was a month ago now. So yeah, it's been pretty full on, but anyway, this video is going to be something a little bit different because I'm actually going to be asking Sam to become my wife. So, I was meant to be doing this three weeks ago, but the roads got flooded and stuff, so we couldn't go. But I've been planning a little weekend away at an Airbnb with just us. So, hopefully, I can do a little surprise when she gets home from work and head out there and have a nice weekend and get the knee dirty and hopefully she says yes. All right, oh, well Sam's currently at work. I've knocked off for the day and I've got a little sign that I prepared weeks ago now, but we'll get it out. This little bugger. So I'm gonna get a bag. Hopefully it's the bag she's gonna use. So I'll get that pink bag there. And we'll set it up on the kitchen bench and we'll sit this sign up with it. So like, in theory, she gets home from work. I'm not gonna be here, I'm gonna duck out and pretend I'm still working or something. She's gonna come upstairs, give us a little pov, pov view. So she'll be coming up, walking up the stairs. Oh, hey Finn, oh, oh what a day. And then a bag and that sign's gonna be Set up there, so she's gonna like come in and go, oh, what, oh, what the fuck, what, this is crazy. And then I'll be just like, yep, pack your bag, let's go. Like she might send me a message because I'm not gonna be home. I won't be home when she gets home. So she'll send me a message like, what, this is crazy. And I'll just be like, yeah, pack your bags, we're going away. And then she'll pack her bags, I'll come home, pack the Esky and stuff because it's like a little, one of those little tiny home things, so there's like eskies, no fridges and stuff like that. Little hot tub and stuff. So yeah, I'll come home. Finn's doing parkour. Come home, pack the eskies and the car, and then we'll hit the frog and toad. No, Might even add a little note saying like, plus swimmers or something. Just so she's got swimmers for the hot tub. So that's the little booby trap plan it for when Sam gets home. So I'll probably take the animals up to Sam's mum and dad's place so they can look after them for the weekend. And then I'll come home, pack my stuff, and then really just play the waiting game, I'm waiting for Sam's message to say, finish work, I'm coming home, on my way home, and then I'll duck out and pretend I'm on a job. So then she can come home and see this without me being here and be like, ooh, look, waiting for her to see it kind of thing. So, I won't be here, then she'll say I'm home and she'll probably message me like, what, what's this all about? And then I'll come home, pack the esky, pack the car while she's packing her bags, and then we can hit the road. I'll probably try and set up the camera to film her coming home and seeing this, just to get a little reaction, because I'll, yeah, I'll set the camera up as if it's on charge in the kitchen. She can come home and, what? mind blown stuff and um, yeah so that's what's happening anyway do you want to go for a sleepover go for a sleepover I think Cooper's excited who are you Chings go sleepovers sleepover so we're fur kid free now, I got rid of the animals, and I've just packed my bag. So now I've just got to get the ring, so I don't forget that, that I've had hidden for months. Really securely hidden, there's no way Sam would have ever found that. So, won't be forgetting that anyway. Give you a cheeky sneak peek. Wait for the message saying I'm on my way home and I'll duck out and set the camera up. 
and yeah, should be good. Stay tuned. Not sure how that went, but I'll see when I go through the footage, but she knows we're going away now. So, get some ice for the eskies. Pack all this up. Oh, it's dark in here, isn't it? And then we can make our way out to Austinville, which is like the Gold Coast hinterland. It's called a wee stay or something, little tiny home thing, off grid. You ready? I don't know. Don't know, are you? I don't know. There we go, we're in the tiny home. The little wee tiny. Pretty nice little A-frame shack. Very small, which is in the name, so you expect it. Can't really see much. As it's dark, just chilling out by the fire. What do you reckon? Pretty good. Sam hates it. She wanted to go to the casino. <laughs> uh, not really what she was after. But anyway, pick this back up in the morning. We can see some stuff and sweet. Nice as. Very nice. Hopefully see a platypus down there later on. Cool. As it said in the comments, the reviews, that someone had seen a platypus. So we're gonna. Aren't we? Huh? We're gonna see a platypus. Definitely. Definitely. Very weak and very hot. But it's coffee. I reckon next one I'll just do two two spoons. Two spoons. So I'm thinking place of question popping will probably be up on the veranda I'm thinking either up on the veranda or like down here by the creek and I'll try and set my camera up and just say I'm doing like a testing out the new self timer or time lapse or something so you can capture it and just not sure when I'm thinking maybe after brekkie gonna make some pancakes maybe after brekkie or maybe like early afternoon after lunch maybe to see how it sort of pans out we're just cruising cup of coffee hot chalk 
Just slow and steady wins the race this morning. Which is nice, I'm just on platypus watch. None yet. It's only early in the day though. Quite a nice little creek, got a little flow up there. Nice little island. Very nice. Weather's turned it on today too, which is nice. It was raining last night, which was nice for bed. A little trickle on the tin roof. And there we got some nice sun, so. That was so weak. Ooh. <coughs> got some chunks in the bottom. Here's the plunge boy. Give us a look in there. Sort of what you'd expect. Full of water. So, spark this up. Probably spark it up at lunchtime so it's ready for the arvo. Chill in there. Bit of bee repellent. Oh, I've just got that on my hand. Yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. Got some beehives up there, which we actually got some honey inside from ourselves. We went and wrangled the bees for some honey. <clears throat> yeah. I'll give you a little 360 of the little hut here. Fully off grid, solar. I wonder what Branton reckons of this install. Very rustic tin finish, patinaed rust. There you go, wee tiny. So I've just had a thought, I think I might do it down there. Set the camera up here on a tripod and say I'm doing like a time lapse of us just chilling down there and shit for the vlog. And I can drop to the knee, I think. Drop a, like, drop an E into her kind of thing. No, I think that'll be the... Might be the place, either that or by the fire, kind of thing. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out.
We did it. Don't get me crying. What do you got? <laughs> I'm engaged. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you reckon? Pretty good. Been working on this hot tub for the last four hours. <laughs> She's pretty hot. You celebrating something? Hmm? Celebrating something? Nah. Nah? Nah. All right. Not this or anything. Ah, okay, all good. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> oh, I love champagne. <laughs> Fiance. Fiance. What do you think? <laughs> Foul. Is it nice? It's alright. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that good. It's not that bad. <laughs> Oh, mate. Bit hot. Bit hot. <laughs> Home time. As an engaged couple. <laughs> Got the honey. All sample. From the hives over there. Go uh, have some some yummy some brekkie somewhere. <laughs> Go home. Break the news. <laughs> Your parents are gonna be spewing. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at the pretty water. One more time. No platypus? No platypus. Off. <laughs> Should ask for a refund. I'm going. <laughs> what up? Just, Just waved say? goodbye. Huh? Just waved goodbye. To the wee tiny. To the wee tiny. That's that. That's that. 
Why are we tiny? Don't cry, babe. Rightio, well, just stopped in Mount Tambourine where it all sort of began, had a bit of brekkie. Now on the way home to break the news to the fam, Sam's fam anyway. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Mold's Logs for some wedding planning and probably a wedding further down the track. <laughs> and, probably. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, click the bell. Stay safe, take care. See ya, bye. What's happened? <laughs> Got a bit of a flat. <laughs> Us if something like this didn't happen. Something bad had to happen somewhere. It had to. It was too perfect. <laughs> you know a mechanic? Nah. Better call Carline Toowoomba. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Max 80 kilometers an hour. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Bye for real this time. We're gonna be doing 80 kilometers the whole way home. <laughs>